Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the ASRock Thunderbolt 4 add-in card. It's very similar to the one that I featured in a previous video last year for the AMD build. So this is the Gigabyte GC Maple Ridge. So both of these add-in cards have the Intel JHL8540 Thunderbolt controller. So the behavior should be the same. We're going to test out this Thunderbolt implementation with things like the Avermedia Live Gamer Bolt, for example. This is basically an external Thunderbolt 3 based capture card that can do 4K 60 HDR capture, 240 FPS. What you need in order to install this Thunderbolt card into your PC is an X4 PCI Gen 3 uh, expansion slot. So basically, something like that. So this is a four lane. At a lot of the AMD motherboards, the uh, B650E and the X670, X670E motherboards, a lot of them feature an X4 PCI Gen 4 or PCI Gen 3, and in some cases PCI Gen 5, but you only need Gen 3 four lanes for this Thunderbolt add-in card. So, and you, the other requirement is that it must have a Thunderbolt header, and this motherboard does, it's down there. Uh, and you also want to make sure that you want to check the compatibility list. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick and take a look at what's inside. So inside you get the support card and then uh, this is the card itself. And then there's display port to display port because there is a display port input on the card. You get two of those, and then you get a USB 2.0 cable. So this is basically so that it allows the USB signaling. So it can default back to USB peripherals. And then you get a Thunderbolt header cable. This is actually the most important cable. If you want to enable Thunderbolt for the BIOS to give you that secret menu in the UEFI for the Thunderbolt settings, you need to have this cable plugged in. And then ASRock includes a CD. That's interesting. And the instruction manual, which I think has the install guide. So it's pretty straightforward. You install it into an X4 and then you plug the cable in and that's basically it. Okay, so the controller chip is right there and then on the back you can see it has two Thunderbolt ports. They're USB-C interfaces physically but they are different from USB-C. These are actually Thunderbolt so they support the 40 gigabit signaling and then you have a display port. You have two display port inputs so if you use the display port input you can output that video feed out of these Thunderbolt ports. So basically this one will probably map to that one and this one will map to that one. So the easiest way to install this is to plug in the cables that you'll need. So the USB cable and the Thunderbolt header cable. We want to plug these in before we mount this into the board. Okay, so the first cable is this one. So this has the five pin that goes into the board. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in first. So that goes in down there. All right, so you, it plugs in down there and the card's gonna go right up here above it. Just wanna make sure that that's in. All right, and we're gonna to wanna to get the USB cable as well. All right, so just like with the Thunderbolt header cable, we need to plug the USB header cable in as well. All right, so those are in and then now we take these and we plug these into the card. Okay, so the way it's mapped on here, this one is for USB and this one is for the Thunderbolt. So we'll do the USB first. That one goes like that. And then the Thunderbolt one goes like this. And then we just plug that in. So the motherboard. And we secure it. And that's it. Okay, so just to kind of show, just to zoom in here and look, you can see, you can do some cable management if you want. 
this is just a USB cable, and then you have the Thunderbolt header cable. All right, so now we're gonna put all this back together. And we're gonna turn it on and enable the card in the BIOS. Okay, so once you're in the BIOS, you're gonna to wanna to go to the advanced menu, and you're gonna to wanna to click on AMD, or navigate to the AMD PBS setting. And then in here, you're gonna to go to the common platform module. AMD common platform module. And then all the way at the bottom, see where it says Thunderbolt support? That is defaulted to disabled. We're gonna go ahead and change that to enabled. And then F10 to save the changes. Okay, a couple things I need to mention about this Thunderbolt card. They're a little bit quirky on ASRock's implementation. So when I first pressed F10 to enable Thunderbolt support in the BIOS, uh, it wouldn't post. So I had to actually turn off the computer, turn it back on, then it did post. I got into Windows and then now I can see that the Thunderbolt device is working as intended. So I'm just a little bit kind of a warning there to those that are gonna try this. If it doesn't post, you need to turn off your computer, turn it back on and then it will get into Windows with a Thunderbolt card. So after that, it works. I don't know, there's some kind of BIOS bug, but it does work once you get past that hurdle. So you can see here, it is running on a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D with Thunderbolt with an attached device. We are running the full PCIe tunneling that's enabled, um, and then it's Thunderbolt 4, no security level enabled. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to reach out to ASRock. I couldn't find the submenu in the BIOS to enable the security settings if you wanted to run those, uh, unlike Gigabyte. So when I tested Gigabyte's implementation last year, it showed up and everything was there in the UEFI, but ASRock, I can't seem to locate that in their bio, so I'm gonna have to reach out to them about that. And that is worth noting. And then you can see we have two ports uh, for two different devices. So those are those USB-C Thunderbolt ports on the back of the card. You can see I have a Live Gamer Bolt attached. And then we can kind of go back here. We're in 96 gigabytes of memory at 6,400 megahertz. And then what I want to show real quick is the Thunderbolt HSA component from Intel is installed. The Toast component is also installed. And then we have our drivers for the actual Avermedia Live Gamer Bolt. So, and then with that being said, if we want to look at the output here. So I am running Rec Central, which is Avermedia's capture software. I full screened it so that we can see the PlayStation 5. That is the actual device that we're capturing the footage from. You can see it is capturing in full 4K with HDR. So this capture card is pretty high end. It's one of the better ones out there. It is. It does require Thunderbolt 3. So if you have Thunderbolt 3 Titan Ridge or Thunderbolt 4 Maple Ridge, it will work with either of those. Doesn't matter which vendor uh, is selling the Thunderbolt card, it will work on any of them as long as it's Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any questions about Thunderbolt and different use cases, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.